I was lucky enough to grow up in an athletic family. Most of my uncles were or are football players in the UAE's uh, national team or in local teams. My aunts were volleyball players and my mother was once a runner. And so growing up, the only reason I was told not to pursue an athletic career was because I was pursuing a sport that had pointy sticks and a weapon. And even though my parents were supportive of women in sports, my family was still attached to certain gender roles that dictated, and particularly to have gender role that dictated that women were not fits for a male sport like football. Now it all started when I was a nine-year-old, tiny, bony fifth grader. Back then, archery was not an officially recognized sport in the UAE, and I have never even heard of its existence besides in Robin Hood. Little did I know that Robin Hood was gonna be my nickname a few years later. My PE teacher happened to be an archery coach and suggested that I give it a shot. Pun intended. I wasn't great. In fact, I, I kind of sucked, and I was far from great, but I was stubborn. I was really stubborn, and I had a supportive female coach pushing me forward. This is why, 10 years later, I am still practicing archery. Well, back when I first started archery, my coach used to train 16 other Emirati females. However, once they started graduating from high school, they stopped showing up to practice, and our numbers started decreasing, sometimes gradually and sometimes drastically. Yeah, so our numbers started decreasing, sometimes gradually and sometimes drastically. They started prioritizing their social lives, their education, and being with their family in their free time over archery, and this revealed to me that not many people were as involved or as committed to committed to competitive sports as I was. What they were unaware of, however, is that cutting off your sport abruptly to transition to higher education could lead to negative implications as you are giving up daily exercises and training, and that could affect you psychologically and physically. Moreover, um, joining a sport, um, joining a sport or joining a team can, uh, can help you develop a strong support system, which eventually could help you feel like you're developing a second family. Cutting sports off abruptly to join, um, to um, transition into university can lead to um, can lead to abruptly, uh, can, can lead, I'm sorry, <laughs> cutting off sports, um, let me start over, yeah? Okay, thank you. <laughs> cutting off sports abruptly to transition into university can lead in losing the support system, which could have some serious negative implications at a potentially very um, it's stressful part in an athlete's or in a student's life. Whenever I had to uh, take time off my practice in order to focus on college and on my education, I always felt like my mood would plummet and sometimes I would even not lose weight because I was so, my mood was so negative. And I would always long to being around my teammates, the people that I love and who understood me, understood my sport and understood uh, the, the struggles that I face as a female athlete. Fast forward to a few years later, and I was fighting for my spot in the, in the UAE national team. All the while, my fellow female teammates stopped showing up to practice one after the other. For the first few years after the formation of the UAE's national team in 2015, females were often non-negotiably opted out of regional and international participations. It was always justified with budgetary constraints, despite the fact that around four men would be funded for those same regional and international competitions. Sometimes my coach and I were simply not even informed about those tournaments. And so for a long time, I had to fight this exclusion of females in archery. And eventually, I found my way, along with my fellow female teammates, into regional and international competitions by demanding official selection processes and by scoring higher than male archers in those selection processes, thus proving ourselves not through words, but through action and through performance. 
The obstacles that females in the UAE in sports may face can be categorized into two types. One type is the gender discrimination within the field, such as the experiences that I've had. Another type is societal and familial obstacles, such as the lack of support from individuals in a female athlete's direct environment. This lack of support can showcase itself within a female athlete's workplace, her educational institution, or with her family. Many of those I have also inevitably faced. For example, whenever I had to prepare for an upcoming tournament or a competition, I had to be absent endlessly from family gatherings and celebrations as sports are quite time consuming, especially when you are pursuing them rather competitively. Life of Emiratis in the UAE is very family oriented and females are always expected or often expected to, pre to be present in family gatherings, meals, family celebrations, and even Friday gatherings. Additionally, females um, have a huge role and a huge responsibility in holding together and sustaining their families economically, socially, and culturally. Take my aunt for an example. In a typical day in her life, she wakes up at 5 a.m., goes off to work, comes back at 5 p.m., checks up on her local business, and then she is off to her evening class for her master's degree. Not only does she have to sustain herself, but she also has to look after her younger siblings and her retired parents. Whenever I had to be absent due to my sport, my parents were mostly understanding and patient, but it was really tough, both on me and on my family. Now, I can talk on and on and on about the obstacles and the potential solutions to these problems, but I will focus today on two ideas that I feel myself and my fellow teammates resonate with the most. My first idea is about resolving the disconnect between competitive sports and education. One solution that the UAE government has come up with to resolve this problem is the School Olympics. The School Olympics is a yearly tournament that, uh, that targets students of, from middle school and high school of a particular age and, that, uh, in, and from the seven emirates, and that incorporates eight different sports. Now, the Special Olympics is great for so many different reasons. To begin with, it sheds light on the often forgotten individual sports in the UAE, and it, it builds off a strong athletic foundation for the Emirati youth, that could bring up a true champion if this effort and this care is consistent throughout a young athlete's life. Now, why the heck am I telling you about the School Olympics? So the school, this care that is present in the School Olympics must continue on into university. For starters, universities across the UAE must implement or must incorporate those individual sports and those growing sports such as archery and fencing into their universities as official clubs. Those sports, those, I, sorry, those universities should also aim to plan and organize local university competitions um, for university teams across the UAE to compete. Universities should also aim to participate in international university competitions. Yes, those exist, such as the University Aid. For example, while I am so blessed to have NYUAD provide me with a space where I can practice and teach archery, it remains true that I do not get to train as much as I used to or as much as I want to with a lack of, um, with a, lack of a coach and the lack of competitions to prepare for. Now this solution is particularly important for the inclusion of females in sports because it, it makes those sports available for those females and within reach. It is often dictated by society and by gender roles that males have to be athletic and sporty. The same thing is not dictated on females. And so to make a female want to pursue a sport professionally, the option of being athletic and sporty has to be firstly presented to the female. Bringing those sports into universities where Amarati females go makes it even more attractive for them to approach the sport. When I started teaching archery at NYUAD, Many of, many of my fellow Emirati colleagues approached me to try the sport out. Many of them are hopeful today that they continue practicing this, their, this sport and developing their skill in archery. Now my second idea has to do with um, dealing with societal and familial obstacles in the UAE. 
In order to resolve this obstacle, we must, it is very essential to firstly loop in the families of those female athletes on why those females should pursue their sports professionally despite the time commitment. Sports clubs and the relevant entities have a responsibility to explain to those parents why pursuing sports professionally benefits th their daughters, the family, and the UAE as a whole. This is because when females pursue sports professionally, they are required to adopt a healthy, active lifestyle that brings back a lot of benefits to the female's health. Additionally, pursuing, when, you, when a female pursues a sport professionally, she represents the country, represents the UAE internationally and regionally, and that is a huge responsibility that brings back a lot of honor and importance back to the female. The UAE's leadership are extremely supportive and encouraging of women in sports. And that in itself is extremely honorable for females and their families. The Sharjah Women's Sports Foundation does exactly that by educating and encouraging the, the parents of their female athletes to encourage their daughters. In my personal experience, I've noticed my parents' support spike up whenever I win a medal and my win is being covered on newspaper or on TV. This, this shows them that my effort and my hard work is being put into good use and that I am representing myself, my fellow female teammates, and themselves and the UAE in a good way. Now, I think it is also really important to note the evident immense progress that the UAE and governmental-led governmental -led entities in the United Arab Emirates have done to provide a platform for female athletes to grow. Such organizations are the Abu Dhabi Fatma bint Mubarak Association and Sharjah Women's Sports Foundation. Both organizations are, are dedicated or founded solely for female athletes and they incorporate teams of different club sports such as taekwondo, volleyball, and table tennis. Now those sports clubs or those organizations uh, birth a lot of female athletes who go on to represent the UAE internationally. And what is also super great about those sports is that they create a lot of female uh, sports managers who advocate for the rights and the representation of female athletes nationally. The Arab Women's Sports Tournament is a tournament that was created by the Sharjah Women's Sports Foundation. And this tournament not only um, encouraged more sports clubs in the UAE to recruit more female athletes, but it also led to an immense growth in, in women's sports in the MENA region. An example of this is Saudi Arabia's first ever female participation as a delegation in uh, 2018's Arab Women's Sports Tournament in Sharjah. To end this talk, I would like to offer one last piece of advice to all the women out there, especially those in a male-dominated field such as sports. Be assertive. Be confident when you are being assertive. There is power that comes with assertiveness. It is so difficult to navigate in a male-dominated setting. It often generates the feelings that you have to be constantly proving yourself do not let that feeling overwhelm you. Instead, let it empower you and work as hard as everyone else around you is and even harder. Keep your chin up and remember that when someone does not give you what you deserve, demand it. Do not make excuses for that person. Whenever I was disregarded repeatedly to compete internationally, I demanded fairness. Today, Female athletes in the UAE archery team are considered just as much as males are. If you notice gender discrimination, point it out and remember that you are doing this for yourself and for your love for your sport or for your field of choice. Be assertive. Thank you.